Next step is to clean up all this um, insulation off this copper and strip the Go ahead and burn about a half inch of the insulation off each one. Clean each one of these off until it's shiny. I'm going to strip this one about a quarter of an inch. Alright, this is a continuity tester. So I've clipped on a wire here and I'm going to hunt for the uh, end of this coil by touching this. Okay, there it is. So these two belong together. I'll just temporarily twist those together. Do that for each of the three coils. There's another coil. All right, this end here is going to be um, the end where we have our transistor. So this is gonna go to the collector. It's closest to it, the transistor. And um, one of these wires that's closest to us is going to be our base. So we're going to move that out of the way. We're going to take its end, which comes from down here, and take its end and we're going to connect it to any of these shorter ones. Okay? I'm just going to twist those together. So now we have two of the secondaries tied together in parallel. I'm going to take its end and I'm going to tie it together to the start of the third coil. Well done. You're going to have one that comes from right here. That's our base. And this one, this one that's left to verify it <clears throat> is coming from the length of the tube at the bottom okay and that's going to come off and be our high voltage wire and for now we're just going to keep these twisted together we'll we'll make sure and test it I'm going to put a little piece of black tape on this one because this is not going to be our dimmer we're going to come off the uh, end of the second coil for our dim setting I'm going to go ahead and just... Alright, this is uh, going to be our power wire. I like to use red and black to remind myself which is positive, so our red is going to be positive. We are going to come up through the bottom of this tube up to the switch. And I'm going to give myself enough length here to feed a battery that's down on the floor. So I'm going to give myself another three feet. Cut that. So I like to mount the switch at switch height. And those holes that we made are kind of nice now. You can just use those. You need another piece to go from the switch down here to pick up on our positive end of the primary. So I'm going to cut that. And I'm going to use a black wire. That's going to go from our transistor. I'm going to make it the same length as this red one. As careful as I try to be, sometimes I screw up. So I take this and I just put a B there and I put an E there. And that that helps. All right, so I've got my switch, made my marks for the transistor. I'm gonna make a mark for the switch. Go ahead and drill that. Here's the transistor. I'm just gonna verify that I've got these holes in the right place so I don't short out. So what I've done is I've flipped it all over, holding it in that position. Make sure that my um, bolt holes are going to be in the right spot. Okay, so we got that mounted. Got the switch mounted. Transistor mounted. Now we're going to screw this onto here. Next. All right, I've got both my power wires, my uh, negative and positive, running up through this tube. I've trimmed this. Um, positive lead into the primary just a little bit stripped it a little positive feed up to the switch I'm just going to twist these together for now we're going to verify that the circuits working nice it's hooked up I just taped it for now we're going to tuck it in there so we're ready to put that one on so we're done with that 
Now we will now we'll focus on this part. Okay. All right. I've marked um, the base and emitter again. If you can see that B and E, we can start to get some of these things out of our way. This is going to go to the collector, so we can just tie it on one of these bolts, put another nut on it. Okay, so I've got um, one wire here coming off the, the high voltage coil, that third coil goes here to the light bulbs, and I've just got them twisted on. The other one is coming back here to the emitter, and I use a nice little um, connector here. It's, I guess it's called a European uh, connector. I just cut cut it apart until I get two. It fits perfectly on the transistor so you can take it on and off. Just got the collector just loosely tied now. I have the switch loosely tied up and it's in the on position. And I like to test with a just like a 9 volt battery just to make sure everything's going to work. So this is set on high and it should work. Connect it up. The bulbs, bulbs are on. So we can try it on 12 volt. And I'm going to stuff all these wires through. I've got all my high voltage wires twisted together so I can organize those. There's my negative. I'm going to put them all through that hole. Alright, I have all my wires coming through. I'm going to put the cap on. And um, you may want to mark these. I kind of know where they go. These are my, my red positive two power wires. They're going to go to my switch. This is my base tie. I'll zoom in a little bit. This is my base because it's alone. These are my high voltage. I've got the twisted pair and I've got the loose one. So for high and for dim. I can separate those now, but I'm, I'm going to wait. Um, this is my collector. Coming off the end of the coil. This is my negative. So negative is going to go to the emitter. We're going to go ahead and put one of the high voltage wires in with it. And this little terminal block. Go ahead and put that in. This is our base. We'll go ahead and put that in. Get those tight. Get the terminal end back on the um, collector. It still needs to be soldered, but we'll just put it on there for now. And these are our two power wires. I like to have the switch up on on. So we're going to go power to common, power to the air core down here. Alright, so here's our power wires on, our base, negative to the emitter, emitter also out to the um, bulbs, we just still need to hook up our high voltage out. I'm going to twist it on to the high setting for now. This, um, I tried this switch to both run power and um, high and low for dim. It doesn't seem to work, so you're going to need two switches. You could do a um, single pole, single throw for the power and a single pole, double throw. So two switches, one for power, one for dim and high. Um, so for now, I'm just going to run this on high, but you'd want two separate switches for the power on and then the, um, the dim. I've just got two bulbs here. I'm trying it on 12 volts now. Starts nice. So I'm going to go ahead and tidy it all up and it's done. Alright, it's all done. Here's our power wires out to the lamp. Got a hanger. It's going to hang on the wall. And our power wires are going to go down to the battery. It's, you know, it's uh, doing a good job. You want to put a, uh, like a 3 amp fuse in line on the positive lead.